<laughs> All right, yeah, I gotta do this quick because we're in a drive through at Burger King. Because <laughs> we're cheap. <laughs> but I've got me a new gambler. It's an Acura TL, it's an older model. But I just got it, picked it up for 400 bucks, and uh, we're gonna lift it. And well, I won't, I'll say that when we get home or whatever, but, but yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is it. This is what I've been trying to get. I've been trying to get this for a couple months now. Me and the guys just been back and forth on it. Yeah, we kind of give up on this. <laughs> As you can see by the windshield, we kind of give up on it. This was fun, but it is that last jump really did some damage to it and tore up some wires that we cannot retrace. And it's just a more of a headache to try and get it running than just to let it be. So we just had our fun with it, hitting the uh, windshield and busting it. So it is done. What is done is done. We're saving it for another thing. We're either gonna like flip it over. We got something planned for it for you guys. One of my buddies is gonna try and drive on it with his truck. Uh, that might happen today. I'm not sure exactly when that's gonna happen, but it might happen today. Back to this. This is gonna be my gambler build. So this is kind of like the video revealing it. This is a 1999 Acura TL. Yes, I know. Look at my TL out there. You can see your TL right there. See my TL? My super nice, that's not my Evo. My super nice TL right here. You see it in, in videos all the time. This one, my little TL. Okay, so I've got my nice TL, and now I've got my gambler TL. And I was kind of iffy on buying it, but me and the guy finally come to a agreement and I bought it. He um, he watches my videos, he likes my videos. And he's like, you know what? I'm gonna sell it to you because I would like to see it produce content and like what we do and stuff. So yeah, this is my Acura TL, 1999 Acura TL. It's automatic, it's been hit in the front end. The uh, radiator is busted and leaking, but I'm gonna pull this out today and put a new radiator in it today. And yeah, but yeah, this is, uh, I keep saying yeah, I don't know why I keep saying yeah, but yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, this is, uh, God, I keep saying it, I don't know why. I know it's kind of dark inside it. The battery's dead, so that's why the jump box is there. This is, like I said, this is uh, gonna be my gambler. I'm gonna uh, lift it. It's gonna be a lifted TL. It's gonna be lifted, it's gonna have tires, it's gonna bring the wheels out with the spacers. Um, there's like a lot going into this. Where uh, I'm thinking about, I love this front bumpers, so I don't know if I'm gonna, like, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this front bumper. Like if I'm gonna keep it, or maybe take it off and build my own bumper. I'm not sure exactly because I really like the way that looks. Um, fun fact, in the back of the car, when I bought it, uh, he said, there's a bunch of parts in the back of the car that I was gonna fix the front end with. And I didn't, exa didn't know exactly what we were getting into when, when he said that because the trunk didn't open. But he got the, we got the battery box and popped the trunk and there's a brand new radiator back there and brand new headlights. So I thought that was really cool. <laughs> so yeah. Headlights are new. The radiator's gonna be new. And like I said, I don't know what to do with the front bumper just yet. If y'all have any idea what I should do with the front bumper, if I should just leave it or if I should take the front bumper off. I'm gonna take the front bumper off to put the headlights and radiator and stuff in. So we'll, we'll get to see what it looks like without a radiator or without a little, without a, without a uh, front bumper. So y'all can decide whether you like it without the front bumper or if you like it with the front bumper, if I should keep it on there. Or I could go like slightly mangled and build like a stinger on it. I think that'd be pretty cool. This looks super good. Uh, I don't know if you're watching this video or not, but that was a, that was a really cool uh, piece to that Civic that you put on there. I like that a lot. It was a very, very nice piece, especially when you painted it, it looked really good. But yeah, 3.2 VTEC. I don't know why I need that big, such big of a motor to do a gambler, but it came with the car. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That's what uh, me and Dylan was talking about finding him a gambler, and he was like, "Well, you got the advantage on you got a big V6 motor because we was talking about turning that uh, Ford Focus 
which we got as a uh, content car. It's right out here, I can show you guys. Peep the focus right there. It's got a little donut on the back because we haven't got any uh, we haven't got any tires for it yet. But yeah, we were uh, we talked about lifting it and you know doing it as a gambler, but it has so many miles on it, we're afraid like we just get out there and it's just gonna die on us. But we put a new coil pack on that thing and it runs great. And there's gonna be a new video coming out with us doing that, like driving it and actually really testing the car and jump, or not really jumping it, but you know, ripping the e-brake because the e-brake's super fun. So we're gonna do that today. I think we're just trying to get everybody together right now. And then you have this gambler, which is the Subaru that we built and we did the first gambler with. We're not gonna be able, to, like I'm saying this right now, we're not gonna be able to make it to the Tennessee gambler. We don't have anything to get there. Uh, we want to be there really bad, but <laughs> this car is definitely not going to be done before then. Um, if we lifted the focus and stuff like that, we're just not sure if we want to take it to Tennessee and do that with that focus. Cause it's so like it, it, we put the cool pack on it and it runs great now, but it's not like enough to be like in a gambler. So that's what we're deciding on that. We're just not with that. Would you say we have the Subaru? We do have the Subaru, but there's so many things we gotta fix on it from the last gambler, like the snorkel, we gotta re-undo that, and where we gotta redo that whole setup because it's all like, we, we put it together in like five minutes. So we gotta redo the whole that, a whole setup on that. We gotta figure out lift on this. We're gonna redo the lift and do it right because it's just like little spacers to lift it up and uh, not like the spacers up here, but like, the lower control arm spacers, they're getting a little weak, so we're gonna try and fix that. Um, it needs a clutch. That's like the biggest thing keeping us from using this. Instead of just, you know, we just drive around the yard and stuff, we don't do anything major with it, but it needs a clutch. And we don't wanna push it, we don't wanna break it. So that and, you know, just fixing the bumpers, because remember the bumpers fell off in the Gambler. So fixing the bumpers and the side skirt and the clutch and stuff like that. So, and I think I think Dylan is trying to buy this for himself so he can have like a, cause he really likes it. Like I, I can't tell you how much Dylan likes the Subaru. He drives it every time he gets a chance, just, you know, like around the yard and stuff. But he really enjoys this car and enough to where he wants to buy it. So we're like, we're not fixing it until we know, like, I don't know, <laughs> we're just, we're just trying to figure it out. There's the bumpers, actually. <laughs> There's the bumpers to the Subaru, actually. <laughs> but yeah, we're just we're still trying to decide on on everything, so we're not going to be able to make it to the Gambler. Plus, we got a Civic down there that we're going to build as a Gambler, but it's going to be a slow build. And uh, we wasn't trying to steal like slightly mangled idea or whatever, but we figured that would be a really good build vid video for the channel. So we're going to move this thing because we're done with this. We're absolutely done with this. The only thing we're going to use off of it is like the exhaust, the tires, and something else. So if you know anybody needs a motor, probably wouldn't choose this one, but you know anybody needs parts? <laughs> we got a load of parts there, and uh, they're pretty good too. Like the battery is not for sale because it's Jason's, and uh, he just he left it over here. I wouldn't sell that battery because it's huge, and you know Jason probably need it one day. But yeah, we got a lot of parts here that's pretty good. The windshield's pretty bad. There's no doors or anything. Austin took those. So, yeah. You need any parts, let me know. But we're done with this. So we're going to pull this out. And then we're going to pull the Civic up here. Put it in this spot. Get it off the ground. And figure out how to lift it. Pull the motor out. Fix the motor or replace it with another one. And go from there. But it's going to be a gambler. It's a full gambler build. We're going to do it like... We're gonna do it right and make it not sketchy. And that we've we've played around with the idea of cutting it and making it like a truck or doing like a rally civic or something like that. But it is getting built for the channel for the sort of gambler style uh, race or gambler style vehicle. But we will be in the next gambler. This car will be done, the Subaru will be done. And that Civic might be done. It just depends on how much a motor is going to be for that Civic or how much it's going to cost to rebuild it if it's not bad. But the last owner said it's knocking like a Jehovah's Witnesses, Witness at your front door in the morning. So 
I hope I said that right. I hope I didn't like just really mess that up. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, if you notice, I've been filming in 4K um, just recently. Um, I just started filming in 4K, 60 frames per second. So might as well have started doing that now. So I don't know how it's going to look in here. So I'm sorry if it's bad. I'm still going to upload it and go from there. But yeah, we are going to be at the next Alabama Gambler, which is probably in April. I believe it's in April. I think the date is set, April something. I can't remember exactly. But this car will be done. It'll be there. And this car will be, I'm not going to like half-ass it. I'm going to, you know, lift it right. And so, so I, therefore I can, because I do have a title of this car. So I want to be able to drive it on the street and like to work and stuff like that. Just to, you know, turn some heads. So this car will be there. And it'll be done. The Subaru will be there. We'll be done. Probably be driven by Dylan or Jonathan, either one. And then if we need to, like if somebody else wants to, and we it's an absolute thing that we can do, we have time to do, we'll probably build that Ford Focus to be at the Gambler. But it's still going to be a reliable go-kart. Because I'm telling y'all, we put that coal pack on there, and it runs like a dream. I was like, holy crap, it's awesome. So... The, we could use the Focus if we need to. The Civic might be done, like I said. Depends on how much the motor is going to be to put in it. That's the only concern. Putting motor in it is like the biggest price tag on that Civic. So get the motor in it. Everything else is not expensive to build that car. But yeah. So I'm going to pull the core support out of this. That's why the Subaru is here. I'm going to hook to the back. Pulling the, Subaru, or pulling the uh, core support out. And then putting the radiator in it and I might put the headlights on I'll probably pull the front bumper off and see what it looks like but yeah enjoy the next few clips of this because it'll probably be just a it'll probably be just a uh, it'll probably just be a uh, time lapse I guess <laughs> god it took me forever all right next clip So we now have the core support pulled out. We're gonna move the Subaru and put the new radiator in. And the cool thing was like when we opened the trunk, found out these parts came from Rock Auto. Really? Yeah, that's where we ordered the cool pack for that car. And then we opened this, and it's like got Rock Auto stickers all over. It's like, heck yeah, that's cool. There's no magnets in there though. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Let's get the deck. You know the little magnets they send you? That's what I was hoping to get. But yeah, we're gonna pull this radiator out and put the new one in, and the, new, the headlights, of course, we're gonna pull those out too and put the new ones in. And we might take the bumper off while we're at it. But yeah.
we got this thing going and we drove it the radiator's in it right there my camera died so i wasn't able to film this putting the radiator back in in a time lapse but we did get it running and everything works but like let me crank it up for me if you crank it up it idles up and down pretty hard Oh, the battery's dead. There's a jump box. <laughs> Didn't cut it off. So, yeah. So, I think it's the idle control valve right here and I'm gonna take it off clean it put it back on see if that might fix it if not I don't know what else to do with it so this like I said this is gonna be my new like I guess you could say gambler car I'm gonna build it for like a gambler but I'm also gonna like drive it you know normally so like drive it to work and stuff I think that would be really fun Cause you don't normally see those cars like lifted with tires on them and stuff. So I'm gonna make it look really cool. Put a light bar on top of it and uh, just all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'm, I am gonna do a build series on it. So I'll be building it and filming everything. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you want more. And we just finished up a go-kart video today. So that was fun. So peace.